All right, let's move on. 59-year-old Hispanic male who presents with abdominal pain has hypercholesterolemia, so relatively healthy. Uh, has had left foot surgery in the past. Scan, uh, CT scan of the chest is normal. Labs are within normal limits. And you can see here in the lower part of the right kidney, there is a mass. Um, let's see, Dr. Karam, how would you, what would you recommend for this patient? So I would discuss all the options you've listed here, but uh, if the patient wants active treatment, I would uh, recommend a partial nephrectomy. How would you do it? Open, robotic? Looks like in good position to do it robotically for me, so I would uh, offer it as a robotic operation. Um, Dr. Arar, do you want to comment on ablation in this setting and some of the concerns you might have regarding ablating this tumor? So every time you look at a tumor in the lower pole of the kidney medially, you look at the ureter. But in this case, I see the ureter, the tube that kind of collects the, kid, the, the urine from the kidney all the way to the bladder, is far away from where I would be ablating. So I'm not worried about it. I have to say, in this day and age, even after 10 years of experience, um, ablation is still not generally accepted as first-line therapy. So partial nephrectomy for a patient 60 years old with a, another 20, 30 years life expectancy, I think is the way to go. If, if they're healthy enough to undergo a partial nephrectomy, I think uh, I would advise them of that. But there are certain patients that absolutely don't want to have surgery, and we've seen that also, and it comes to the patient's wishes, um, ultimately. Anyone else any other comments on this? I mean, the, str the struggle with ablating a younger patient comes with the discrepancies in follow-up, and how do, you, how do you know that you've completely ablated all of the tumor, and, and how long do you follow these patients? And there's, uh, depending upon what, what, if you use cryotherapy or you use RFA, uh, there's some discrepancies in the literature regarding whether or not a negative CT scan or negative MRI actually, actually means. Uh, and what that does mean. So when you're talking about a younger patient, I think we tend to be m more along the lines, as Cameron just said, more along the lines of, of surgery. Uh, and, but I would say one, one other thing. I would not talk to the patient about number four. It's, it's clear that if you have a small renal mass, and, and we, we talked about the nephrometry score before, so if you go back to this mass, go back to the picture, this mass is in an easy location surgically to remove. Um, if, you're, if you have a mass like this and you're told you need to have your whole kidney removed, I think in today, in today that is a wrong answer. Uh, I should not have the entire kidney removed, just part of the kidney. Uh, I should have a partial nephrectomy here if you're going to have uh, active treatment. And the reason for that is long term, this patient has hypercholesterolemia, but in 10 years this patient may have atherosclerotic disease, may have other factors which may predispose the patient to having underlying kidney disease and saving as many nephrons or as, no, as much normal kidney as you can actually appears to provide a survival benefit independent of the benefit we're giving the patient by treating their cancer. So being off of dialysis and not having chronic kidney disease, you live longer. Uh, so partial nephrectomy would be standard here. Can I quickly comment? Quickly. So if, I mean, I still would, I disagree with you on one point. I would mention it's an option, and I would mention specifically it's an option that should not be done. Maybe the patient's coming to you just for a second opinion and they're going somewhere else to get treatment. So at least you should tell them it is an option, but it's an option that should not be done. 